Hello and welcome to my weekly video blog and today on A Vogel Talks Menopause I'm going to be talking about surprising times you could get hot flushes. If you like my tips and advice then please subscribe and remember to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of all my new videos. So hot flushes and night sweats are the most common symptom in the menopause. Many women will experience them at some point as they go through the menopause. And occasionally they come as a big surprise. And a lot of women contact me wondering why on earth they get hot flushes at certain times of the day or after they do certain times. So today I thought I would just go through some of the situations which may trigger hot flushes and sweats. I know for me, for those of you that have been watching for a, a long time, you'll probably know this story, but for me, I didn't experience a lot of hot flushes, but one of the times I did, I couldn't work out what was going on. I live in Scotland and I very often had to work in Edinburgh and also to go and see my family. So I had to travel maybe 70 or 80 miles and part of the journey was through Glasgow. And for those of you that know the M8 on Glasgow, it's the most horrendous road with lanes coming this way and that way and up the way and, and down the way. And I found that every single journey, about two or three miles outside of Glasgow, I would always get a hot flush. And I couldn't understand why on earth it happened at that particular point in the road. And after thinking about it a little while, I realized that actually, going through Glasgow, it was so stressful. I would be sitting with my hands gripped to the steering wheel, holding my breath because I was just so afraid that something would come behind me or, or in front of me. And I realized that that tension, the fact that I wasn't breathing and the fact that I was under stress and anxiety, once I'd got through the, the city, I kind of relaxed and that was the point where I ended up getting a hot flush. So let's have a look at some of the other situations that, that it can happen. Why would you get a hot flush or night sweat when you roll over in bed? One of the problems with the menopause is that you end up in a much shallower sleep. So things that normally would be totally oblivious to you whilst you're asleep become um, in, into your consciousness. So when you start to roll over, you may find that you just become a little bit awake and that movement as you're slowly coming to can trigger your nervous system. You get a rush of adrenaline and that will trigger a night flush or night sweat. Very often at that point, you may find that you get palpitations as well. So the two of these are, are very, very closely linked. It's a difficult one here to sort you know, maybe you could take some of the nice calming remedies, a sleep remedy such as um, Ardormiazan before going to bed or herbs such as valerian that help to keep you in a slightly deeper sleep and a little bit of a longer sleep. And that can very often be a benefit. It's also calming the nervous system. Number two is after eating. This is a really common um, time for getting a hot flush and, or, or uh, a sweat. It can be due to several factors. It may be due to the fact that you've eaten quite a big meal. You might have been rushed. So you might have been really busy. So you're, you're not chewing your food properly. Your, your digestive system is suddenly overwhelmed and it has to kick in really, really quickly. Again, that can trigger um, adrenaline or it could be what you've eaten. And we know that having a cup of tea or coffee during your meal, having some alcohol, having some really spicy food, or having high salt or sugar foods, all of these can trigger the nervous system and that results in a, a flush or a sweat. 
When you're hungry, a lot of women find that as they're nearing a meal, that's when a hot flush or an, a sweat kicks in. This is due to low blood sugar levels. So your, your, your blood sugar control can sometimes um, go all over the place during the menopause and before a meal, you may have gone three or four hours without eating, your blood sugars plummet, and again, that will trigger a flush or a sweat. So with this one, just make sure that you eat little and often, and you're not leaving hours and hours between having something to eat. Number four is getting a flush or a sweat when you stand up. This could be due to several issues. If you've been sitting for a long time, if you've been focusing on something, if you've been working, and very often your nervous system is really calm, everything is quite relaxed, and if you suddenly jump up, again, that's triggering your nervous system. The other thing it could be is when you're moving after being still for quite a while, for some women, you may get a sudden dip in blood pressure and that could cause a flush or a sweat, usually accompanied by a little bit of dizziness or lightheadedness. Or for some women, the minute you start to move and, and your heart's pumping again, your blood pressure can suddenly spike and again, that can cause a flush or a sweat. And number five is getting a flush or a sweat the minute you wake up in the morning. This is another one that's all to do with your, your nervous system. When you're asleep, everything is nice and calm. Your, your nervous system has calmed down because of, of, of sleep. When you wake up, because of the flight or fight mechanism, your nervous system is primed to jump into action the minute you open your eyes. Unfortunately, when you're in the menopause, that sudden spike of movement can trigger a hot flush or a sweat and also anxiety. So sometimes you can get this combination where you get a flush or a sweat, you feel really nervous or agitated or, or your stomach starts to, to turn over. So as I say, this is all due to the nervous system just kicking in here. So what can you do in any of these situations? You can look at the herb sage as this is known to help deal with the flushes and the sweats um, themselves so that this is something you can take either before you go to bed or if you're getting symptoms during the day you could take it with your breakfast. It's trying to figure out like I did with, with the driving what is the trigger because once you know the trigger sometimes it can be sorted really really quickly. So the best thing here is to have a diary. So every time you get a strange flush or, or a sweat is to jot down the time. Look at what's been going on the previous few hours. Have you had something to drink? Have you not had anything to drink? Have you had a cup of coffee? Have you had some kind of stimulating drink, um, maybe alcohol, even things like fruit juice? Are you really tired? Have you been sitting for a long period of time? And very often when you start to make a diary over a few days, you will find that there'll be some common theme that, that's happening every time you get a flush or a sweat. Water, dehydration, honestly, this is something that occurs in just about every um, single situation where there's a flush or a sweat. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water during the day. If you're getting flushes or sweats when you're moving whilst you sleep or first thing in the morning, remember the little shot glass of warm water just before you go to bed and obviously reduce things like caffeine. Fruit juices can be a bit of a problem because they are full of sugar, even if they're, they're natural sugars um, and the alcohol, maybe cut those down and you may find that that makes quite a difference too. Also look at stress management because if you calm your nervous system down, then it's not going to react when any of these situations um, are, are happening. You could look at our um, lovely Passiflora complex tablets or the Passiflora spray or our licensed um, anxiety remedy, Avena Calm. 
Hope you found this one interesting. Um, it can take a little bit of time sometimes to figure out um, what's going on. But as I said before, once I knew what was happening um, with myself on, on, on my journey, then it was really easy to sort. I just made sure I was drinking plenty of water whilst I was driving. And um, whilst I was in the state of anxiety, was just making sure that I was doing plenty of slow, deep breathing. So have you had any flush or sweats at odd moments or odd situations? If so, then we would love to hear about them and especially if you managed to find out what was triggering them. And um, until then, I will see you next week for another edition of A Vogel Talks Menopause.